Yo guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well and welcome to another episode here on the channel. As you can see, we are doing Star Citizen again. Uh, we are currently at Lawville on uh, Hurston. And uh, as you can see by the title, we are going to be making 100k per cargo run. But that's not all. We are also going to try and see whether we can make any money using a relatively start, you know, relatively sort of starter ship or relative starter ship that you would buy on the pledge store or in game for quite cheap. Uh, we're going to be using the Nomad for that. It has about 24 SEU, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that one. But it's around that, and to see whether it's actually worth doing. Um, what we're going to be doing though is making uh, the money using titanium rather than laronite, and we're going to see whether you know it's worth it for a new player to do cargo running or not and to see whether you need to have money to make real money if that makes sense but without further ado anyway let's get stuck in um, and get the ship get to, we'll start with the nomad we'll start with the nomad and then we'll move on to the caterpillar at the end um, and you know we should be making mega money with the caterpillar but hopefully we'll make something with the nomad um, it's probably worth doing Laronite with the Nomad, in all fairness, but to do a side-by-side -side comparison, we'll do Titanium. To the vehicle retrieval system. Thank you. All right, then, let's click on Retrieve. Stand by. I am standing by. <laughs> Hangar 6, sweet. I love this place. I really do. It's so cool. I like this, this ship here as well. Just uh, As you come around the corner, you're just greeted with it. It's, it's just such a cool place to be. It really is. And now they've added the clouds as well in 317. It is fantastic. It's just such an awesome looking uh, area to go to. Uh, what we will be doing though is going to Aerial. So we're going to go to either Lathan or Bezdek. It doesn't particularly matter. Unless of course you're going to get Laronite specifically. Then you'll need to kind of go to both or try either one of them. But seeing as we're sticking with Titanium, it doesn't particularly matter which one we go to. Alright, so I've not particularly used the Nomad much, um, you know, lately at all. It's a very odd looking ship, but I would say it's a really, really good starter ship though, uh, along with like the Cutlass Black. Even the Freelance is a pretty, pretty good sort of like ship to uh, to kind of start off with. Um, you can fit a vehicle in the back of it, etc. I think you can actually, believe it or not, squeeze a vehicle onto the back of this. I've, I think I've seen a rock be squeezed onto the back of this ship, um, or an ROC. So yeah, this is this is quite a good starter ship, I think. It's a very odd looking ship, but it is a very good starter ship for anyone looking to potentially buy the game. Uh, this, the Cutlass Black, and maybe a Freelancer is definitely what I would go for um, if you were very new to it. Um, but let's, uh, like I said, let's have a look and see how much money we can make using this thing. Um, we are going to stick with the Titanium. I, I don't think we're going to make a fortune with it, personally. But we will test it out just so you can kind of see what we, will, uh, what we will make. And then you can get an idea as a starter or as a new person uh, trying to do cargo running to see whether it's actually worth it or not. Um, I think Laronite would probably be the uh, the bit of a, the money maker. Let's do this the old fashioned way because my button seems to be playing up. Sweet. All right, clear to launch. It does make a nice sound though, the engine, I'll give it that. And it is very fast and maneuverable. Like, um, you know, for, it's, a, it's classed as a light freight, and I think it has about 20 odd SCU, 24 SCU, like I said. Um, but it does seem quite fast and maneuverable. I mean, look at how fast we just boosted off there. Um, and it, it's it's got a little bit of firepower. It has eight missiles and three badges, so it's not terrible. It's just a, an odd looking ship, in my opinion. It's not, uh, it's not something that I particularly like that much, but uh, but yeah, it is uh, it is a very good starter ship, anyway. Alright, let's get that course set in, shall we? So we want to go to Aerial. It's not even going to let us set the route, so we're going to have to jump somewhere else. So sometimes you do get that bug. If it does happen, you can just jump to like a different jump point, and then it will let you kind of set the route in afterwards. I don't know why this game does that. The star map's always been a bit uh, temperamental, so just be aware that if you are trying to jump somewhere, you may have to kind of like jump somewhere else before you can put the, you know, put, put it onto the star map. But that's Aberdeen. I'll tell you what, we'll jump to Everest. It's right there and it's only 200 kilometers away. And then from Everest then we'll go and jump to Ariel and then we'll go to either Lathan or Bezdek. Like I said a minute ago, it doesn't really matter which one we go to. Um, okay, so we've got to go to OM1 first. So we kind of got to go back on ourselves, which is a little annoying, <laughs> but never mind. It's all part of the adventure, right? You get to see the scenery. Let's just calibrate here, jump that way, take that cruise control off action. Alright. And on we go. Hell yeah. And here it is. Beautiful. 
Bye, Hurston. Oh, I say Hurston. Lawville. <laughs> I mean, the wings sticking up are quite cool. They really are. They're quite cool. I like that. Just an inferno here of a moon. Just an absolute inferno of a moon. All right. Anyways, let's move into Lathan. It's right in front of us. We don't have to go very far, which is ha absolutely handy. Okay. So we're just arriving here at Lathan. Spin that ship around. Let's get going. The good thing is with these sort of places as well is you can like reload, re repair as well at the same time. So if you need to do that, oh, there seems to be a ship on my right. Probably a cargo ship, to be fair. Or it could be an AI, actually. We'll see what happens. Oh, there's a red target above me as well. Yeah, so I think we're kind of stuck in a, 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 a pirate battle there. So Okay, so we should start seeing this fairly soon. Have to try and avoid that on the way out. <laughs> we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to get stuck and involved in that fight. If we can help it. Where is this place? Oh, yeah, it's there. Little twirl. I like to do a twirl for the cameras. <laughs> ah, there it is. Look, we're there. Not quite sure why we're burning up in the atmosphere because we are actually like in the atmosphere. But hey ho, it's an interesting mechanic. <laughs> a little bit late there like you know we should be we should be burning up as we were coming in but well, then again maybe not look, I think it might just be the effects of the actual storm my mistake my bad okay right let's land here anyway and let's see how much it's going to cost us to buy some titanium that was a bit of a bumpy landing <laughs> but we're down nonetheless I, I mean inside this ship it's quite spacious really for a small ship I'll give it that you know it's a very very spacious sort of like vessel for a tiny ship Let's see whether we can see this space battle going on above us. It was happening some somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. Oh well, never mind. Moving on. Let's go and do what we were here to do. Let's close that ladder up. We don't want anyone stealing the ship. And what you want to do is look for this little building here with the little tower thing or whatever it's called. The little antenna, we'll call it, to the left. Um, and it's called Hurston. It should have Hurston Security on it or Hurston Dynamics. There we go. And that is the building that we want. Baby, here we are. All right, what have you got for me? So if we buy, we click the Nomad, and there's quite a few things here. There's no lar. Oh, there is some. No, no, there's no Laranite. Someone's got all the Laranite already, so we can't actually have a look. I mean, this is the most valuable item for sure. It probably is what you should be doing in uh, the Nomad or in a smaller ship. Um, I think uh, I won't be able to test it in today's video, but I think I was making about 20k profit on Laranite using the Nomad. So let's see what we make with the titanium. I get the feeling it's not going to be anywhere near that, but we'll have a look anyway. So we're paying 17k for this, and then we'll go and see what we make when we get back uh, to Hurston or to, to Lawville. And then we'll see whether it's actually worth doing in a new ship. I, like I say, if, if it's probably not worth doing anything other than Laranite in the Nomad. But, you know, we're testing it out for you guys so you can uh, to see whether cargo running is, is a bit of a profitable thing for a new player or a starter ship, you know. And there it is. There's the cargo in the back. Looking all juicy. All right. Let's enter the ship. Let's go. Let's do this. I mean, it's not too bad. It really isn't too bad. A little toilet in there, look, you know. Ah, oh, yes, I can sit there. A little toothbrush, my razor blade. Like I say, you got a little kitchen, sort of bed as well. It's actually, like I say, it's not too bad. It's quite spacious for a tiny little ship. It's not a bad starter ship at all, guys. I still prefer the Cutlass, but uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so is that battle still going on? No, look, they've all they've disappeared now, so we can take off. Alright guys, so what happened was uh, during the video we actually had a server crash, but luckily for us the cargo is still here and we can continue on as normal. We are currently still landed at Lawville, um, so yeah, let's go and sell this anyway. We can finally get back on track uh, and see how much uh, money we actually make out of this titanium. As I said before, I just don't think it's going to be a huge amount. It'll probably be worth doing a little bit of Laranite, um, which I may do another video on actually after... Uh, this one here, I might just do a cargo run with Laranite um, to see whether that is actually worth it using the Nomad. 
Um, but uh, we shall see. We'll see what we get anyway. Who knows? We may make more than we think. Um, I get the feeling it'll be probably around about 5,000 if that. But uh, let's go and... Uh, Let's go and check anyway. Let's go and take this lift. Um, not this lift, sorry, this train. What about about lift? Um, I do like taking the train through Lawville, to be fair. The uh, the scenery is awesome. Going past the tower as well. It's just nice. Especially when you see somebody like, you know, coming into Lawville with a ship as well. It's just, it's so cool. It really is so cool. I just, like I say, this game is just so beautiful to look at. Um, it might be a tiny bit laggy at the moment, but uh, Lawville tends to do that to me um, from time to time. Um, so I apologise for that if there is any lag. But yeah, let's get on this into this train anyway. And uh, yeah, because it's a bit of a long journey, we've still got a minute and 31 to go. I will uh, see you at the other end. Alright, so we're at the other end here. And uh, oh God, again, love this place. Absolutely love this place. It's just incredible. Just looking at uh, these statues and everything, it's incredible. Wow, that is a very bright blue jacket you've got on there, sir. Okay. I like how they just stand around <laughs> looking at nothing. They're literally just like staring into space. It's funny. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on into the business uh, district or center and uh, let's sell these goods and find out how much we actually made. Um, so we bought it for about 17,000. So we're, we're looking to see whether we can make, I don't know, we'll, we'll soon find out. I have a feeling, like I said a minute ago, probably about 5K or so, but that's just a rough estimate, a rough guess. But we'll soon find out once we get down these stairs. I like how they've changed the guards as well. I say I like it. I did prefer the old guards' uniform. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not digging the fact that these guys are, are defending this area. I prefer the, uh, I prefer the old guards to be fair. All right, here we go. Cell. Nomad. Titanium. Yeah, twenty-one thousand. So we made about four thousand actually. So that just kind of shows that it's probably not really worth. Um, doing cargo running for titanium uh, with the Nomad. Uh, but yeah, let's go on and, and do the Caterpillar anyway, which I do think will be worth it. And bearing in mind that when we are doing like, you know, when you are or anyone's doing cargo running, you know, it can be a risk. Obviously, you know, just as we entered Lathan, then there was a, a red hostile. It could have attacked us. Thankfully, it didn't. Um, you can sort of like whilst transporting goods from Ariel, even to the short distance of Hurston, you can get, um, you know, uh, jump by pirates, players, anything like that. So it is obviously a huge risk, but it is rewarding. But let's go on, get that caterpillar anyway, um, and uh, and yeah, let's go and see how much money we can make with that. So guys, here's the caterpillar. Absolutely beautiful ship. Well, kind of. <laughs> In my opinion, it's a very beautiful ship, but obviously some people uh, might disagree. I think it's just the industrial side of it. As we said before, I really love the industrial uh, ships. Uh, that kind of feeling that they've you know been worked in for a long time. Um, but yeah, let's go and uh, see what uh, money we can make with this beauty. I love the mechanic of this, I really do. The elevator, just it's just so cool. This whole, you know, like, just the whole thing here. Look at that. Hydraulics. So sick. This game is so cool. I just can't get over how amazing it really is. <laughs> Alright. She does handle a little bit uh, sluggish, though. She, you know, she's a big ship. Big heavy cargo ship. All right, let's go. And uh, anyone, anyone thinking about getting the ship when you first get it, it's a bit of a maze. You might, uh, you might get lost. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of doors and a lot of entrances and uh, exits, etc., to go through. So it can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a maze. Once again, we'll do this the old-fashioned way, because oh, friend request. Um, right. Here we go. Look at this, beautiful. We'll have a proper look at her in a minute when she's in uh, or out of atmosphere, actually. Come on. Come on. Takes a bit of getting off the ground. Takes a little bit of getting off the ground. Here she goes. <laughs> Come on, doors. Open faster. Open faster. Open faster. You can do it. Oh, I tell you, she's, uh, she's a heavy girl. <laughs> she really is. It could just it just takes a little bit of uh getting used to when you first get this ship, that's for sure. Alright, here we go. Let's get that cruise control on. Okay, so just arriving at Lathan. Let's uh keep this on for a minute so we know how far away we've got to go. 
definitely no enemies in the area this time around, thank god. <laughs> There's uh, always that element of risk, as I said before. Oh, it's just so nice to look at. Look at it. Yeah, these are the modules here. I just can't wait till, the, uh, till we can edit them and change them out. I think that's going to be really cool. And then once we be able to detach this sort of ship on the side here as well, that would be really cool as well. So, a lot of stuff coming into the game, so kind of really excited by the future of it, but this ship's been out, what, since almost the beginning, and I think, you know, it's, it's about time we got some love, in all fairness, because at the minute it's just kind of like a, a cargo ship only. Um, it would be kind of nice to be able to detach this and, as I say, swap out those modules. Alright, so we're travelling at, like, pretty much as full speed as we can go here. Let's do, give us a little bit of a boost. As soon as we get to under 10,000, I'll slow us down. I'm a little bit more cautious, you see. So a lot of people I know would just come in and uh, we, <laughs> we come flying into the landing pad. I'm a little bit more cautious uh, with, with regards to that kind of thing, especially with a heavy ship like this. I'm not uh, not necessarily the most confident, shall we say, when uh, flying into a, a landing pad with a huge ship. But we're getting there. We're getting there. The plan maybe in the future is to get some uh, get some joysticks as well, because I really love this game so much, and I want to. I want to kind of, you know, make the experience even better if I can, so. Um, if anyone has any recommendations, I mean, I've been looking at a couple, but if anyone has any recommendations, then yeah, please, please post them below in the in the comments and I'll have a look. We should be able to see this any minute now. I just had to fire. <laughs> just because the sound inside the, uh, the atmosphere is incredible. The echo is incredible. Let's listen to that. Beautiful. Alright, so we're 4,000 away from Latham. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're also very low to the ground, so we should probably lift up a tiny bit. Speed up a tiny bit more as well. Doesn't look like there's anyone here, so once again we are alone. Which is nice. That's nice. It's handy. Okay. Struggling to see that landing pad. We're just a little bit too. Let's go inside the ship at the minute. It'd be a lot easier to see. All right, here we go. On the right side here, we'll land. Perfect. Look at that. There we go. Down you go. Go on, I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> you can do this. Okay, there we go. Sweet. And we are down. Alright, let's go out. Let's get that juicy titanium. We'll have to try and remember the numbers. My uh, estimate will be a good nice 100 grand here. So it'll be a nice 100,000 per run. Um, so bearing in mind if you are doing this, it's, it can be very, very profitable. And it will only take about, I don't know, I mean, I'm a little bit slower at landing, but generally speaking it will only take about like 10, 15 minutes uh, to do this. We'll raise that elevator back up again, you know, because in case anyone suddenly appears. Okay. Look at the size of her. Beautiful. Right. Back to the same place as before. Remember to keep an eye out for the antenna. If you're new and you don't know where to go, always the one with the antenna on the left there. There is another one, I think, over to the, like, the right somewhere, but uh, that's for getting vehicles out. But this one here, with the red lights, is the one you want. Okay. Now, last time we came here, there was no Laronite. So, out of curiosity, we will check again. Nope, no Laronite again. But there is a lot of titanium, and we can fill up to the max. So we're spending 408,000 here. That's going to fill up the cargo from uh, front to back. So 408,000. Or we'll say 409, because it's nearly there. We'll just round it up to a nice little figure. Okay. And now we just simply go back to Lawville and sell. Alright guys, we've just this second touched down into Lawville. Let's get out, and let's go and see how much this cargo is worth. I am hoping 100k. I would imagine it would be around about that. 
and that'll be a nice nice you know a nice little earner you've only spent 10 15 minutes doing it so absolutely awesome um, and there are other things you can get I mean like if you were to fill Laranite up with it you know fill this entire ship up with Laranite it would take you a lot longer you'd have to go through system to system uh, you know all the way up to Crusader then you'd have to fill up a Bezdek and Lathan um, whilst with this it's quick it's simple it's easy uh, we landed a little bit wonky there but you know, we're in anyway that's fine we're safe we're down um, but yeah it would take you a lot longer this is just a quick 10 15 minutes and you've made 100k or there and thereabouts absolutely spot on this is exactly what you want to do making the quick money the quick profit and uh, and yeah uh, all right let's go up this elevator see who's about it's usually quite a very busy place is lawville a very very busy place we we'll usually always see people here all right sweet I still I just oh, I love it absolutely love this game I just I, I can't stress enough how like amazing it really is and like I say guys if you have uh, been watching the content lately you've been enjoying it um, you know please number one subscribe hit that like button it means so much to me um, you know it's absolute legends if you do uh, also as well um, if you are interested in getting the game and you want to the referral code on the screen right now uh, use that it'll help me out and it will also help you out and it will give you an extra 5,000 AEU um, or in-game credits um, and yeah but that's it guys right I will see you on the other end of this train because it's a long journey as we know and uh, yeah let's go see exactly how much money we make all right guys so here we are ready to sell the titanium and we're going to be selling it for about 90, sort of 8, 99,000 profits. I don't know, 90, between 91, I think. I think it's 91,000 we're going to be selling this for. So not quite 100k. It does vary. Um, some that I've sold before are over 100k. But you're nearly getting 100k profit per doing this. And we're only selling titanium. We're not selling any laronite. So I think that's pretty good. I think the fact that you can make pretty much 100k is absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and sell this titanium. And I think what we've learned as well is that selling titanium using the... Uh, the, the, the Nomad is definitely not worth it. I am going to do a video though with um, you know selling Laronite with the Nomad just to kind of see how much we can make with that because I think you know we want to really establish uh, whether we can actually you know make a lot of money with Nomad doing the Laronite and I think we can make about 20 odd K profit which isn't so bad if you're a new player but that being said it's probably more beneficial to go and do like a mercenary mission like we did in the last video um, but yeah, guys. Anyways, thank you very much, guys. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!